Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Daz. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yeah. Aye. Back in the hot seat. You've missed us, haven't you? <clears throat> Three yeah. months. Yeah. Three months of not releasing months reactions on YouTube. You not mentioned it. <laughs> Did we say? <laughs> it's a long time, considering we kept it up for three and a half years. So Mike's three months a long time and he's done six. <laughs> it was easy where he went. Though. Yeah, to get out in three, that's the only reason. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we are back and we have still been uh, doing full watch alongs over on Patreon, but we've just not been releasing reactions because we couldn't risk more copyright strikes. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But we're back. Sketchy. But so it's time to are. get back to it. Um, a bit more of the fat electrician who yeah. we reacted to the other day. Yeah. Mm. Good um, storyteller. Yeah, really we, good. We did uh, how the US Navy took out half of Iran's Navy. In eight hours, yep. I think it was called. Yeah. Maybe something a bit snappier than what I just said. It was slightly, like, you know. I think you're pretty accurate there. Pretty much so on, the, on the buttons, but I think you smoked Iran's Navy in eight smoked hours. Smoked Iran's Navy. Yeah. Which, it was a great video, to yeah. be fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It's always good to see. So we're going to go for another one. F-15 Eagle, the most gangster jet of all time. Nice. There you go. That's all you need to know about that. Yeah. This was spotted on another person's reaction channel. That's why it's been plucked out of all of... Oh, okay. His videos. Ah, uh, right, okay. So I'm guessing it must be a pretty good one. Gangster I do fire like jet. A fighter jet, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Some of the military hardware is One powered amazing. over here the other day. Did you, I don't know if you were. Uh, no. You know, I missed that one. It, it flew in with a, um, I want to say, uh, something like a Finnair flight. It was accompanying some flight that came in. Oh, I heard oh, that, right, okay. yeah, something got landed and then yeah. everyone was stuck on the plane for a bit, were yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, nothing ever came of it, though. There was nothing, nothing untoward, apparently. Yeah. They uh, lost right, communication okay. over, the, uh, over the channel, and uh, that's what made them scramble. Yeah. Uh, right, right, okay. regain communication and a plane landed safely. Yeah, right. scary that, isn't it? Because that fighter jet's there for one reason. And it's you look out the window and that's next to you, yeah. you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And it is if you see it around here as well, because yeah. you know, it's just commercial flights. And you yeah. Yeah. Very, you very rarely yeah. see sort of like military jets mm. flying around here. No. That's there no. to shoot the passenger plane down before mm. it gets into a, a residential quite, area, possibly. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be at the window like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm okay. Yeah, let's check this out anyway. F 15 Eagle, the most gangster fighter jet of all time. Let's go for it. Today we're talking about the most gangster fighter jet of all time, the F 15. Today we're talking about the most gangster fighter jet of all time. Do you think he's got like Rob McElhenney vibes? Yes. I know what you mean. He has a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah. I don't know if it's his accent or his facial accent expression. Accent a bit and his facial thing yeah. with his beard and everything. Yeah. He's definitely got the got the vibe of him yeah. I think yeah I think you're right actually. do you see it Dave not really no yeah, I've no, just said Rob it Michael I any vibe there yeah and definitely yeah. with the voice the way he's yeah. the inflection of his voice maybe, the way he talks maybe the but, eyes like from around I, I don't yeah. know yeah. Just, it just it just reminds me a little bit of no, like, when he was speaking it might, it. Be, it might be his accent mm -hmm. I don't know the F-15 Eagle Ladies and gentlemen, this is the American muscle car equivalent of a fighter jet. Developed during the Cold War in the early 1970s, it was designed to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to establish air superiority. And being that this was the 1970s and stealth technology wasn't going to come out for another decade, Uncle Sam had to rely on good old-fashioned horsepower and gunpowder. He figured if you couldn't be sneaky enough to go unnoticed, you just had to be fast enough to go untouched. And that is exactly what they did with the F-15, because it is equipped with two Pratt & Whitney F-100 engines, totaling 19,200 horsepower, which is like 800,000 water chickens. This plane can travel at a max speed of Mach 2.5, which is roughly 1,900 miles an hour. And here's the kicker, it's not just fast, it's quick. And if you don't know the difference, I'll elaborate. You can build up speed slowly and be fast, but being quick is the ability to be fast in a hurry. And the F-15 is like a drag car. It is fast the minute you hit the throttle. So fast, in fact, that you can argue that it could be classified as a rocket. Okay, hear me out, I'm gonna nerd out for a second. Generally speaking, aircrafts need to do two things to fly. They need to generate lift and thrust. They need to generate enough lift to counteract gravity, so the physical weight of the aircraft, and they need to generate enough thrust to counteract drag. But here's the thing with the F-15, it has a greater than one thrust to weight ratio, meaning that it can generate enough pounds of thrust to offset drag and the weight of the aircraft, meaning it doesn't need to generate lift to sustain flight, which is what a fucking rocket does. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you the F-15 doesn't need to generate lift, it can just beat the atmosphere into submission. The F-15 could literally have its wings chopped off in mid-flight and it would still be able to fly. And I can already hear the comment section now. Bo! 
Buh! The chubby electron guy is so dumb he needs to go back to high school physics class. That's not how any of this works. Buh. Uh, no, that's exactly how this works. And guess what? If you don't want to believe me in what's theoretically possible on paper, you don't have to because this has already happened in real life. In 1983, an F-15 had a mid-air collision, completely lost wow. one wing, and then proceeded to fly 10 more miles and then land safely. Okay, and wow. if that's not enough proof that it's basically a rocket... You what? How the hell <laughs> could that keep going after having a wing smashed off? The technology that goes into military hardware is just ridiculous. Oh, it's insane. Absolutely. That just didn't look possible. It didn't, didn't did seem it? real, it like an optical illusion it's or for, something. For it not to be completely demolished, because you think, how did it just but, sever a wing off and it just like carried on? I think, think it'd spin it round and all sorts. I know. The mad thing is about uh, aviation. I grew up right next to the airport. The, the mm. planes literally went past our window like to land. We were, we were one of the last houses before you hit the runway. And I grew up in, in logistics as well, round, office based at the airport. And every time I see a plane, even to this day, I look at it and go, how the fuck is that flying? Mm. Yeah, some of the big ones, it's yeah. insane, isn't it? I'm just like, what and what, what concept does someone have when I say I can get that massive weight of metal and tonnage on a, on an aircraft and get it up in the air? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. It just baffles me. It's still, it's still like I just love seeing it. Still now, yeah. I'm still like I'm not playing spot or anything like that. But I just love seeing technology, the yeah. way it works. Like it's just insane. I yeah, it's the, amazing. Took the kids to Tatton Park on uh, Sunday, and that's obviously right in the flight mm. path. Yeah. And there was like a A380 flew mm. over us. Yeah. And they're, they're quite low yeah. at that point, mm. and the kids were absolutely in awe of it. Mm. You know, and you can you look at them and think that's exactly what they're thinking. Yeah. They're like, how? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. It makes no sense. It's like, like a C seventeen has been making a regular stop here uh, right. last, the last few days. Yeah, uh, coming in from the Middle East, and uh, I've been watching that. I've been like seeing. It, I'm just like, well, you look at it and you just go, because I can see him straight off my balcony. Well, the landing things going straight, yeah. straight, yeah, straight yeah, past yeah, our yeah. house. So I think they're coming in. I'm just looking. I'm going like, just incredible. Yeah. And when you see things like one that's missing a wing, flying at high speeds and shit, like the speeds they go out, and the way the pilots, yeah. you know, everything about it is just impressive. Yeah, absolutely mm. superb. Mind yeah. blowing. Yeah. I guess you'd have to turn. Like the, the flaps that actually turn the plane would have to be turning it into the mm. wing that's there, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh, to kind of act yeah. as the drag from yeah. a wing that would be there. Yeah, what the pilot has to do to a comp to, to get that to start like flying land, don't know yeah. who knows what they have to go through, but don't know. They Only they know. In a simulator, they probably practice flying with one engine, but I don't know whether they practice flying with one wing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably think, yeah. probably think that's yeah. never going to happen, mm. but. Mad though, innit? Wow. Yeah. I would have bailed out. <laughs> like, We've got a wing on, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can look at how an F-15 takes off. I'll show you the footage. The minute it clears the runway, it goes straight vertical and breaks the sound barrier. It is one of the only planes on the planet that can do that. That noise. Wow, yeah. Well, even if it is that fast, common sense dictates that they had to make a bunch of design compromises, and I bet the F-15 has hardly any firepower because of it. Buh. You know what? For once, you're right. That is what common sense would dictate, because that's what every other country does. If they want to go really fast, they either have to sacrifice firepower or maneuverability. However, here's what you're not taking into consideration. This is America. We don't make sense. We make dollars, and this thing has more firepower than any other fighter jet in the American fleet. Yeah, more bombs, more missiles, and on the off chance that isn't enough, it's also equipped with an M61 Vulcan 20 millimeter Gatling cannon in case it needs to tell somebody to get fucked at 6,000 rounds per minute. <laughs> wow. So just so we're all on the same page, even though the F-15 is over 50 years old, it is still the fastest and most heavily armed fighter jet in the American fleet. And did I mention that it can also go like 3,000 miles without needing to refuel? Meaning that it's also extremely versatile, logistically speaking, because it can fly from America to Europe without needing aerial refueling. And here's the kicker, none of that is the reason it's the most gangster fighter jet of all time. It's the most gangster fighter jet of all time because this thing is the epitome of a pro gamer move. It is a real world combat record of 104 to zero. It has downed 104 enemy aircrafts and been shot down zero times in return. It is the only aircraft to lose a wing, continue flying, and land safely. It's the only aircraft to ever shoot down a satellite while it was still in outer space. Yeah, America did Whoa. that during the Cold War. We shot down one of our own spy satellites to send a message to the Soviet Union that we could do it to their satellites too. And my personal favorite, it is the only aircraft to ever score an air-to-air -air kill using a bomb. Not an air-to-air -air missile a bomb. Yeah, in 1991, during Desert Storm, it actually hit a moving Mi-24 Hind helicopter with a GBU-10 bomb. Yeah, this one. 
That is a 2,000 pound general purpose bomb and it just hit a moving helicopter with it. That is absolutely unheard of. In conclusion, while the F-15 is no longer the best fighter jet on the planet because it's been replaced by the F-22 Raptor, I feel pretty confident in saying that it will go down in history as the greatest fighter jet of all time. And that history is still being written because America is coming out with another F-15, the F-15 EX Eagle II. And that's gonna have to be its own video some other time. Thanks for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. Mesa nice. Stelitas. <laughs> One of those t-shirts. That's amazing. Yeah, like I say, military hardware. When you, when you look at what the US has and you know you're on the same team. <clears throat> yeah, they've got the best on basically. It's like being a shit defender and just looking up front and seeing like, you know, Hurling Island or Harry Kane or whoever it may be. Yeah. And you're like, we're going to get goals. Yeah, no matter, exactly. what, no matter how many I let yeah. in, yeah. they're going to get more. Yeah, they're on yeah. my side. Yeah. So exactly. I'm quite happy. Yeah. Here. Thanks very much. Seeing stuff like that made 50 years ago makes me more convinced that all of these like weird UFO sightings and things it's like modern. that, it's just the future technology that mm. they've been working on. Yeah. 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 Why would you be using a fighter jet from 50 years ago that's that good? And not be developing not stuff advanced. that's ten times yeah. better beyond secret doors. Look at new stuff, aren't they? Bigger and yeah, better. Because it is. I mean, the technology's advanced in the last fifty years ridiculously uh, it's exponential, massively. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that that's that should be archaic compared to what yeah. exists nowadays, and probably yeah. is. It's just one of them. That, you know what's up the sleeve of like you know whoever you know, especially when the people are talking about you know there's a potential risk of a World War Three and all that kind of stuff. And obviously, it'll come to sort of like military and military hardware in the mm -hmm. in the long run. But when you look at certain things, what they've got, and you think, hmm, I think it's more, I don't know, what, imagine that. Oh, that's now, nah, that's all that shit where you've been seeing. That's nothing. Wait yeah. till you know, unpu pull back the curtain, and then yeah. just all of these fucking things are flying out, and everyone's going, holy shit. There's a new one we yeah. found. Yeah. 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 Here's the under 21s. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the yeah. kids. Yeah. But also, if no one knows the technology exists, you can probably get away with breaking the rules of war <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. So like it yeah. wasn't us, it was fucking aliens came down, <laughs> used some energy weapons on people. Yeah. We don't know I just about I just it. love seeing stuff like me because it's uh it's just proper impressive. It's a piece of an aircraft, isn't it? It really is. Engineering is just amazing, oh, yeah. isn't it? The, yeah. What people can do, really mm. smart people, is just mind blowing, I know. isn't it? I know. I always think that when you know even when someone does something as simple as build a website and you see someone who's done a really, really good job, you go, Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. Build a website yourself and it just looks basic, shit, shit and it's basic it? yeah. and you like that it makes you appreciate people yeah. who yeah. do it properly, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next Cheers, one. Guys. Cheers, guys.